I'll confess it. Randall, Judy, is it both your wills to proceed? Into this relationship which God's law and man's law hold sacred, it is fitting that you should enter not carelessly nor hastily, but thoughtfully, prayerfully, and reverently. In this, as in every relation of life, I commend you to God and to his grace. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. And now I'm token that you've given yourselves one to the other. Will you please join your right hands? Randall, did you take Julie, whom you now hold by the hand, to be your lawful and wedded wife, and do you promise in the sight of Almighty God of these witnesses that you will be to her a true and a devoted husband, that you will love, honor, cherish, and protect her in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and adversity, and that leaving all others, you will cleave to her and to her alone, so long as you both shall live. I do. Julie, do you take Randall, whom you now hold with the hand to be your lawful wedded husband, and do you promise in the sight of Almighty God and these witnesses that you will be to him a true and a devoted wife, that you will love, honor, and care for him in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and adversity, and that leaving all others, you will cleave to him and to him alone, so long as you both shall live. Randall, repeat after me. I, Randall, I, Randall, take me, Julie, take me, Julie, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do we part, till death do we part. Julie, you repeat after me. I, Julie. Take thee, Randall, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do we part. May I have the ring? This ring which you give and which you receive is a token of the purity of the permanence of the vows which you both have just taken. Randall, take this ring, place it on Judy's third finger, left hand, and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with it promise, and with it promise, to be faithful. Be faithful to these marriage vows. To these marriage vows. May I have the other ring, please? Julie, likewise, take this ring, place it upon Randall's third finger, left hand, and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed, and with it promise to be faithful to these marriage vows. For as much as you've taken these vows upon yourselves in the presence of Almighty God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let us pray. Our Father, we come this afternoon thankful for life and all of its blessings. And especially when we come to an occasion such as this, we have reason for rejoicing wherein love has touched the hearts of two young people and guided them to this state that they now uh, find themselves in. We pray, Father, that the ties which bind them together, even this afternoon, might grow stronger in the coming years. May they trust each other in perfect confidence, and may they trust Thee with their life and with their all. We pray, Father, that You might bless them, that you might prosper them in this new relationship. Father, may they be found faithful to you and your cause.
May Christ be the center of their home and their hearts daily in their walk of life. May they give you the glory. May they praise you. Is our is the request that we make this evening because we pray in the name of Jesus, the sweetest name that we know. Amen. Randy, you may kiss the bride. May I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Randall Daniels. <laughs> Thank you.